cold steel, tiger claw, serrated, karambit. Don't think of it as a karambit. Think of this as the ultimate rescue knife that's going to be able to take care of about any of your needs. Waveable? Yes. Well, hello folks. Welcome to Captain Dave's Sport Fishing YouTube channel, Jacksonville, Florida, where we usually talk about fishing, outboards, boats. But today we're going to talk about cold steel tiger claw. Nobody on YouTube hardly ever talks about this because they're afraid of this knife. Because you know what? It's a chisel ground and it's difficult to sharpen. But I've just got to show you what the little hand boys that do nothing but sit there and point a camera down and chit chat about a knife and call that a review. I'm going to show you something what this can really do and the reason I carry it. As a fisherman, I want to be able to cut something like yesterday. I want to have a knife on me that is sort of a, literally a safety item. That if something really happened, I want to be able to cut it and cut it fast. And many a time, that is anchor line. Here's an old piece of my anchor line. So I'm going to try doing a cold steel cut test. I already did that, but it was easy because I just went like that. This time I'm going to have to hold it. I'm going to try to hold it, and I'm going to try to cut it. Okay? So here we go. <laughs> my... God! Look at that, folks. Did you see that? I'm wondering about down here. Look how triply this is. This is all wound up. This is me attempting to do a super quick and dirty loop in my anchor line. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go through this. Let's see. Woo! All but that one little piece, and it cut halfway through that piece, too. Oh, Andrew Demko designed. You know, I got a man crush on Andrew Demko. Uh, 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 I'll say it. I've always had. Because he made this lock, which is, of course... The triad lock being the reason it's triad, if you don't know, A.D., Andrew Devko. Okay, he designed this lock for cold steel where there's pin upon pins and backstops and everything that make this ultimately strong. And then he came up with this for flipping it out, sort of. you got to push this in. It's a lock back design. I hold it right here with my fingers. I put my thumb on there like that, and I come around. All right, well, I got these two pieces here. Let's see. Let's see if I can separate these two pieces. Well, it didn't separate it, but it sure does cut through it. So there's just a little bit of a cut test on rope, and that's the reason I have this as a safety item aboard my boat. I don't care. Fishing line, ropes, clothing. I just have always felt that something like this is more of a safety item. I can stick my finger in there and it's not, I'm not losing it. I can choke back, I'm not losing it. What we have here is uh, some loops of inner tube. Let's see how it does with multiples. Oh my god, that's like nothing. 
So I'm going to take two of them together. I'm going to fold them together. And then I'm going to fold them together again. <coughs> yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much it, folks. This isn't even the serrated version. Okay, PBR, let's turn it this way, see that blade now will span the entire thing. I've never done this before, all this is a total experiment, alright, so let's see. Would you say that's pretty good right through a beer can, folks? Look at that. Where is the other piece? It went flying. I don't even know where the other piece went. All right, here you go. Don't try this at home, folks. Does this scare you? No bamboo is safe. Bamboo growing season. I think you've met your match. Oh, that's just child's play. This right here. That's child's play. Same goes for this one here. It's time for a little haircut, Mr. Bamboo Plant. <laughs> Time to trim you back a little bit. Ah, where did you come from? You weren't here last week. Hmm. What are you doing here? So let's go back to the beginning. Does this scare you? It shouldn't. There's no reason in the world. If you're a fisherman and you're a boater like me, this is the ultimate tool to have in case of an emergency. Biggest deal on your boat is lines, fishing lines, dock lines, anchor lines. This is so thin, can be carried in a pocket without hardly being noticed. Like I said, the triad lock, there's nothing stronger. Good belt clip or pocket clip, pretty good tension. This goes with me on my boat every single day. I may have forgotten it once or twice during the last two to three years that I've had this knife. Yeah, this isn't one of those I took it out of the box and decided to go play with it. This is a daily rider. This thing goes fishing on my boat as much as I do. I pull no punches with it whatsoever. This is the serrated version. 
of the cold steel tiger claw. Serrations may confuse you, they may scare you, they may keep you from ever purchasing a knife like this. Being that it is a karambit, also a basically combat fighting knife, I'm never using it for that. I carry this as a safety tool. This isn't a finger flicker. This isn't for you guys that want to just play. This ain't a play toy. This thing will take your finger slap the hell off. Those serrations out of the box, you better watch out. Cold steel does not fool around. How do I keep them sharp? By stropping. I made a simple leather strop with some green compound on it out of a brownish stick. Believe it or not, a palm frond here in Florida. It had the perfect roundness I was looking for with almost ridges on it. And if you look hard, you can see the dark spots and the lighter spots in between. That's the ridges. Those ridges are perfect for getting in to these serrations, getting into those serrations and running down and stropping this. All you're wanting to do is just smooth out those serrations. I will run the back side, which is, this is a chisel ground knife there is no edge on this side, only, as you can see, on this side. I will run it down my Spyderco Sharp Maker. That's what I do every once in a while. Being that it's round, it fits the shape of the blade. You can go like this. This gives you extra purchase. If you ever have to lean over the side and take care of a tangled line, a tangled anchor line, anything, put your finger in there and this will give you extra reach and you might not lose it, the knife over the side everybody and their brother on YouTube talks about this in a different way my way is talking about having the ultimate cutting tool you saw what it did it can make short work of about any anchor line dock line ice bag, fishing line. This can cut an ugly stick rod probably in half. CTS XHP is the blade steel. Seems to be. I'm not a knife snob, knife blade snob. As far as blade material, I leave it to cold steel. You can purchase these on Amazon, probably in the 115 range. I'll leave a link below to where you can go straight to look at this. They also make a non-serrated version. I highly recommend these serrations. Cold Steel knows exactly what they're doing, and the designer of this, Andrew Demko, has a video where he puts this up against every other cheap and expensive karambit style blade out there. You notice right away that many karambits will be super hooked. This one isn't. That's what makes this highly utilitarian as a regular knife. Pretty lightweight and like I said it's thin but yes it is wide. On my boat, I truly believe safety is 100% paramount and preparedness is part of running a successful, well-oiled machine out on the water. Not one dot of rust on this 
CTS XHP. This knife is several years old. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check the video description below for links that help support this channel. I'll have a link to the Amazon page in which the Tiger Claw is available so you can check it out. Read other reviews on Amazon. And if you're a knife aficionado, this just may be one that if you don't have it and you've always shied away because it looks like some kind of Malaysian fighting knife, it's not. This is 100% utilitarian. See you on the next one.